Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today I'm going to be talking about Grails resources. So where do you go to learn more about Grails? First place, obvious place, go to grails.org. So this has a lot of information and they've done a tremendous job uh, linking all of the various places that I would normally have to just uh, Google for or something like that. So definitely check out this site. So there's a lot of things in here. Uh, just in the first page, if you scroll down, they have links to all of the conferences. Uh, I talked about this in a previous video. These are places definitely to go to check out to learn more about both Groovy and Grails and meet the people who create Groovy and Grails. So definitely check those out um, and let's move along. So another place uh, on here if you go to the learn uh, section uh, first thing it lists is a whole bunch of books. I'll just give my quick opinion on a few of them that I've actually read and mentioned one. Uh, this one, uh, Grails the Definitive Guide, is a really um, good book for beginners. It's a little dated uh, now because it's uh, for t the 2x line and there has been updates in the 2x line and now there's the 3.0 uh, version of Grails which just came out. But this is a good place to go for beginners. Um, between Grails 2 and 3 there are going to be changes but a lot of the underlying concepts are staying the same. So it's just uh, where things, certain things uh, are located now will change a little, but underlying ideas are still the same. Uh, Grails in Action I haven't looked at, but written by Peter Ledberg, who's a very smart person in the Grails community, actually does the Groovy podcast. Um, this also is for the uh, 2.0 or the 2X line, so a little bit dated. Actually, all the books will be dated because of that. Um, programming Grails. This is one I, I kind of want to highlight. Uh, it's written by Bert Beckwith, uh, a very smart person in the Grails community, uh, a former maintainer of Grails, uh, but he's he's still within the community. Uh, contributes a lot to the plugins, uh, specifically to the Spring Security plugins. Uh, this book in general is uh, it's a lot of uh, best practices. Um, how to deal with like some of the oddities in Grails, uh, you know, performance issues, things of that nature. So if you're dealing with Grails, this is I would say this is a must-have book. So and also in this section they list all the Groovy books because you know those are important too. Uh, they list you know playlists for uh, the different conferences videos, which actually I mentioned in a. Uh, previous video so if you check out the groovy video resources all those resources actually apply to grails as well so move along another place is documentation uh, first place I usually go to is to the user guide but there's you know other things within here that you should check out as well and uh, you know in the user guide there's like what's new wh what are all these different uh, you know features uh, upgrading from previous versions of Grails, which is going to become a lot more pertinent because of Grails 3. Um, I, since Grails 3 is so new, that's probably not where I would start at this point. I'd probably let the dust settle a little bit on Grails 3 before starting with that. So you might want to start with Grails 2 and then upgrade to Grails 3 at, at this point anyways, which will be changing in the future because Grails 3 is where you want to go in the future. So uh, another place is the plugins page, which is uh, you know obviously uh, very core to Grails. Uh, this is where you'll find all the different plugins uh, that are available, their documentation, their source, uh, where to you know submit bugs, uh, because the, a lot of these are just community provided. Some are maintained by uh, the maintainers of Grails, but all, most of them are actually provided from the community. So this is a good place to check out for that. There's also a community page which they link a, a bunch of uh, different things off of. Uh, one that's very notable is the Google Plus, uh, well actually no, this is the Google Groups page, excuse me. 
And uh, if you want to know the pulse of what's going on in the Grails community, check out this page uh, because you'll find out, uh, you know, what pe what people are asking about for questions and answers, uh, where the community thinks they're going. Uh, so this is definitely a good place uh, just to come to find out what people are talking about within the community. Um, there's also the issues page, uh, which is off of uh, their GitHub page. This used to be a Jira page, but it's transitioning to their GitHub page. So this is going to be a good place to come just to find out uh, what bugs there are. Like, you know, is, is what's going wrong in your app really a bug uh, that someone already knows about? Or, you know, or is it something that you should raise as a bug? or is there a workaround? This is a good place to find out that type of stuff for the future. Uh, there's also the uh, Google Plus page, uh, which has like a lot of announcements, links to videos and things of that nature. Um, there's the Groovy uh, weekly newsletter, which I talked about before. Uh, and this, you know, gro the Groovy, weekly newsletter is for the whole groovy community which includes grail so you know they talk about you know the releases articles uh, link videos and stuff like that so this is definitely a good place to uh, learn more about that uh, there's also the uh, groovy podcast and in their next episode uh, in episode 10 they will be talking about uh, grails 3 because that was imminently coming out uh, in, you know, when they were putting out nine, like it came out, I think, you know, within like a day or two afterwards. So this is definitely, uh, another place just to, for you to find out more information and just, uh, this is, you know, generally they, you know, have discussions about what's going on and where they think things might be going. So those are some good resources, uh, check them out and learn more about Grails.